<laughs> okay, so someone sent me a message recently, and it was in response to a review that I dropped on this one. So it's Fragrance World Baraka Cat, it's the Rouge. 540. Someone sent me a message and said, thanks for the warnings, Leggy. I, they said, I've actually got the one that's based on the perfume extract. So it's Fragrance World. It's a baraka ka 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 so many Ks in this one. And it is called Rouge 540 Extract de Perfume. Okay, now, I'm thinking, I've actually got this one. You can see I've used an awful lot of it. Why? Why haven't I dropped a review? And I'm not thinking, all right, I've got to come up with an excuse. Oh, I felt a little bit, <clears throat> I haven't had much time, been a bit busy, and I'm like, I genuinely cannot think of an excuse why I haven't talked to you about this one. Because I do have a slight issue with the performance on this one, but other than that, this is an absolutely fantastical copy of what it is duping. Okay, so you have the original which is based on the Baccarat Rouge 540. And then Mr. MFK does another one, which is the Puffium Extract, which this red bottle is based upon. And this is basically, I'm not gonna insult you by telling you what Baccarat Rouge smells like, because I'm guessing if you're at this channel, you kind of know it's jasmine, it's saffron, it's a little bit of pine, it's a ton of amber, and it's an absolutely stunningly sweet, sexy, exclusive, expensive smelling fragrance well this fragrance world one isn't this is just a chemical bomb but the original is okay mr mfk took baccarat rouge and he basically turned the whole sort of 540 down a bit and then he basically blobbed on top a very sort of sweet gloopy cherry almond it's almost a bitter but sweet cherry almond and okay it doesn't completely annihilate all of the other notes because they're still holding their own but what you smell mostly from this one the perfume extract you mostly get a cherry almond and a base of the Baccarat Rouge 540. In my nose, and this is only my personal opinion, the way it's done is this leans a little bit more masculine than perhaps the original 540 does. Okay, that's only my personal opinion. A woman can perfectly rock this perfume extract and a guy can perfectly rock it. It's just that I think, all right, I'm gonna actually say that this is fantastic. If you have smelt 540, the original Baccarat Rouge 540 as a guy and you go, it's just a little bit too sweet. It's a little bit too feminine. Okay, try this one. My hand on heart recommendation, wherever the heart is, is if you're a guy and you can't quite deal with the sweetness of the Baccarat Rouge 540, the original, try this perfume extract. Because, and don't ask me why, the cherry almonds sort of glooped over it. You're gonna go, that's even sweeter. No, it kind of turns it into a slightly more masculinely accepted fragrance, if that makes sense. The other thing is, this one is perfect for anyone who's tried that and goes, it's just a little bit too popular now. Everyone wears the Baccarat Rouge. This is a nice twist. And I say, it doesn't completely obliterate the original sort of jasmine, saffron, amber sort of, you know, what that, uh, the original sort of vibe of the 540. This just takes it in a nice, different direction. In fact, these two are different enough that if you like both, it is worth owning both. Now, this fragrance world, well, let's spray it so I can actually properly talk to you about it. What have you been doing for the last half hour, Laggy? Oh, man. All right, I will be perfectly honest with you and say that this, you know, put a crazy percentage on it. This is 95% the same as what it is duping or cloning, the perfume extract version of 540. Okay. And whereas this, and if you've watched one of my recent reviews, this is a chemical mess. You know, it's horrible. The jasmine is that chemical. It's an offensive sort of fragrance. You know, 
There's no chemicalness about this. Okay, you can tell it's not the original. Please do not expect, expect, expect this to be an exact copy of the £320 original MFK perfume extract for the 70ml. This is not an exact copy, but I tell you what, it ain't not far off. In fact, it would fool pretty much everyone. Okay, I say, the downside for me is this. All right, oh, okay, let, let's, just a minute. The whole far on the downside, Leggy. This, for a 100ml Eau de Parfum, eBay will cost you around about £22 British money. Okay, which is fantastic value for money because I say it is it's an absolute almost dead ringer for the original, okay? And you don't have to go through any, any chemicalness. It is, right from the start, a nice, very easy sort of wear sort of fragrance, okay? The downside for me is that I only get around about two and a half hours of this as a scent bubble and as a trail coming off me. It goes pretty much all day on clothes and it's still there at the end of the day on skin. But, and you're going to go like it, two and a half hours isn't bad for a £22 fragrance. Okay. It isn't actually, but when you try the, what's it called, the Satin Oud Barakakakat, once you've tried that and you've seen how strong and how long that one is, this one, at a similar sort of price, you kind of just think it's not quite as good as the Satin Oud. You know, I'm being really harsh on it. It's a £22 fragrance. It is a dupe. It's a very, very close dupe of a £350 fragrance. I'm going to cut it some slack and say, you know, OK, its performance isn't actually nuclear, but it is nevertheless pretty good. And if you're OK that you've got to top up after about two and a half, maybe three hours, then this one is perfect. If you're a little bit sort of put off by the original Baccarat Rouge 540 because it's too popular or it's too sweet and you want a nice twist on that, this one, once again, is perfect. Now, I hope all of this has made sense. If it doesn't, drop me a comment, ask me a question. I guarantee within a couple of days, I will have found the answer. I will have come back to you or at least I will have just thumbed up your comments. Even you say, Leggy, you're talking a lot of rubbish. I'll still thumb it up. No, seriously, I'm not a professional reviewer. I'm just a crazy random guy with a massive, massive collection of fragrances. And my passion is seriously to share it here with you on YouTube. In fact, it's the dream. I'm actually living my dream. Wow. Okay, really thank you for coming to this channel. I really thank you because you're just about to do me a thumbs up, aren't you? Yes, you've done it! Oh, thank you ever so much for the thumbs up. And realistically, I'd love to see you next time. But in the meantime, you've got to stay safe and take care. And you've got to spray fragrance every single day. No, 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 no excuses. I did it Monday, I forgot it Tuesday. That is not washing with me every single day. I'm going to love you and leave you now. Goodbye.